everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw project video, have a nice sports plaque design by Steve Good, who recently uploaded this design on his website. It is a very nice pattern for the sports fanatic in your life. I'm not a big sports person. I do wear the jerseys because they're comfortable and all, but this is a beautiful design by Steve Good that has a baseball, a soccer ball, a football, and a basketball, kind of covering all of the major sports in the USA and around the world but really really awesome and it has the words sweat sacrifice success which is the dedication required to be a famous sports star really really awesome I've already got the pattern printed out and attached to the wood with clear packing tape it is a two page pattern so you just cut on the dotted line and then attach them and then attach it to the wood however you like I'm going to stack cut two out of quarter inch plywood and we're going to finish one in this video and I hope you stay tuned to the very end of the video where I'm going to tell you guys where we're going to give this piece to that we do finish in this video it's a great company and a great organization that I used to be a part of again I'm not a big sports fanatic I used to love NASCAR Dale Earnhardt as you can see I've got Dale Senior as you can see I've got his jersey on in this video the Intimidator he was my childhood hero growing up, being from North Carolina, and so was he a couple hours up the road from where he was born. Um, followed his career from when I could remember watching NASCAR and just followed him and watch him dominate the sport. And I was also watching the day he tragically crashed and passed away at Daytona. Um, and after that, I really didn't care for NASCAR because my hero was gone. I did watch for Dale Jr., but then that kind of, I just lost my interest when my hero passed away. Um, my sporting hero. I do have other heroes, but this is a very awesome design by Steve Good. It has some finer detail, so we're going to use a smaller blade to cut this out with. I've already got the smaller pilot holes drilled for the letters, and that's some very detailed cutting. Just take your time with it, but we're going to head over to the drill press right now and drill the rest of the pilot holes so we can come back and get this game started. And over here on the drill press, we're going to finish drilling all of the pilot holes in the various balls with a smaller drill bit. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using a number two reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blade for the cutting on this piece. And for anyone curious, my speed is between a five and six and the tension on my saw is at 3.5 beginning with some of the smaller words and letters just taking my time and letting the blade do the work the smaller number two blade really helps with that This is a Steve Good design, and if you guys would like to try this design, you can download the pattern for free over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog. Again, I'm not a sports fanatic, but this is a really beautiful design by Steve and wanted to cut it out. And again, I'm stack cutting two pieces of quarter inch plywood. And the number two blade is doing really, really well. Doing the final internal cut here. The lace is on the football. Now we'll begin the final outside cut, which will release the piece from the wood. Now we'll head over to the workbench and remove the pattern from the waste wood and trace out the backer board with a washer and a fine tip sharpie. I use the sharpie so hopefully the lines will show up on camera. Normally I do it with a pencil but this is a technique I do often to get perfect backboards. Now we'll head back over to the scroll saw and I'll put in a number 12 blade to cut out this 3 quarter inch plywood.
if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. Now that all the scroll work is done I'm sanding with 100 grit sandpaper with my palm sander. Front and back of both pieces. And then the backer board needs to be painted and I paint it with true blue spray paint and I let that dry in the air and then I took the piece over to the workbench and used Gorilla Wood glue and spring clamps and strips of wood to glue everything together and I like to use the strips of wood to add pressure to some of the smaller details that's toward the middle of the pattern where the spring clamps don't grab and I let this dry around an hour and I came back and removed the clamps and it was ready for finishing with a few coats of clear gloss clear coat and I let that dry out in the air again and the project was complete Here we have the completed sports plaque. It came out amazing. Really love it. Great detail. The clear coat really brought the grain of the quarter inch plywood to the forefront. It really gave it a great added character. Each word come out great. Sweat, success, and sacrifice all came out great. Beautiful design. The thicker backboard gives it some dimension. Really, really awesome. And each ball is clearly um identifiable you got soccer ball the baseball the football and the basketball and then with the words in the middle really really awesome design thank you steve good for another amazing design i had fun making this i hope you guys like watching me make this as i said at the beginning of the video i'm going to be giving this and donating this to the local boys and girls club of alamance county they do a lot of great things with youth in the community have an amazing summer camp program as well and after school throughout the school year helping with school work and they have a sports program that is second to none um, their basketball team nine times out of ten goes on to the youth divisional championships or the main tournament finals always great coaches great mentors and I've learned some life lessons from there because I am a boys and girls club kid and then later on in life I went back and then I was a group leader for summer camp really really awesome awesome fun and tons of great memories and I hope they like this I will leave a link to their Instagram page down in the description box below really really awesome that's about all for this video remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon